Welcome to VMD Tutorials. Today we will learn together how to merge or concatenate DCD files into a single DCD. So most of us run simulations in multiple parts, especially the very long ones due to the, you know, the cluster regulations or the computational resources. So we cannot run for two months. So we end up with like different parts of DCDs. And as you, as you all know, it's better to perform the analysis on a single uh, DCD, uh, so you can load it easily and you can can have it as a single file. So I wrote a very basic TCL script that can combine three trajectories here into a single one. So what we what we need for this script is just our DCDs and the PSF file. So let's lo lo have a look first at this dummy uh, trajectories for the sake of the tutorial. So I'm gonna load them. So VMD PSF, I'm going to load my PSF first. And I'm going to load them one by one. Just very small trajectories. So it's 75. And then they are kind of identical. I just brought them for the sake of the tutorial. So we have second part. And then imagine you have the third part, which is another 75. So you end up with 225 frames. So as I mentioned, you don't have to always modify your scripts to load part A, B, C, D, or whatever. And also you don't have to do this manually as I just did. So you can do this with a very simple script, just three, four lines. So let's clear this and let's VI the script. Just call it conk the TCL. So yeah. So the first line here, mol new protein PSF, simply what I just did manually is I, I'm loading a new file or a new molecule, protein.psf. And then you're going to load your trajectory sequentially, A, B, C, D. So mol add file, I'm adding file to the already loaded file. The, the name of the trajectory, first zero, start from, from, from frame zero, last is minus one. You can uh, modify this for your case. So I'm going with the, with the, with the, with the simplest uh, case. So you can start from 500 and end in 1000, whatever. But here we have only 700 frames. So I'm going to start from zero. Uh, the last is, is the last frame, minus one. And then step one, I have only 75 frames. But if you have 7,000, you can make the step 10 to, to get 700 or whatever. And this is very important. Don't forget to write wait for all. And this, I'm telling VMD, do not move to the second line until you load all the frames from the first trajectory. Because if you have a very long one, like 10,000 frames, and you don't write this, VMD will jump directly to, directly to the following line and will not wait your 10,000 frames to be loaded. All right. So from the first three lines, you loaded your 200, 225 frames. And then you're going to make the selections that you're going to use to write your DCD. So here I made set all, atom select, top all. I'm selecting everything. But in your case, as I mentioned, you can modify accordingly. You can choose protein only. You can choose protein and no hydrogen, chain A, whatever. And then we're going to use the VMD command animate write DCD. It's very simple. It's the same like animate write PDB or whatever. So it just writes a DCD. And then you're going to write the name of your output. I called it conk, 225 frames to DCD. And then I want all the frames from zero to minus one and wait for all. And most importantly, uh, from which selection you're going to write, I'm doing this from the all selection. So now it looks very simple, but when you have multiple selections and you have a very long script, you have to be very careful what you're writing from. So I'm writing from all. And then you're going to tell VMD to quit. All right. So let's try it. So I'm going to run VMD in a text mode where you just give the script and gives you the outcome without the need of the graphical user interface. So you can just go by VMD, this dev, text, and then E, and then the name of the script, which was conked TCL. Right. It did everything. It finished with a coordinate file conk. 225 frames the DCD and then it exit normally. Okay, let's check if our uh, 
a script to work properly or not. So VMD PSF is protein to PSF. And let's get them. All right, here you go. So we got a concatenated trajectory of 225 frames. But just before I finish the video, if you're going to make subselections, you're going to have to have uh, the corresponding uh, PSF file for it. All right, uh, so that's it for today. Also, starting from this video, because everyone is reaching out to me to give them the scripts. So I'm going to add um, a link to my GitHub uh, profile so that you can find the VMD project where you can find all the scripts. So this script will be called number one concatenate DCD. Uh, thank you for listening and see you in another tutorial.